What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back once again. We're going to be discussing a, another movie today. We are going to be discussing The Highwayman 2019. You guys can watch this on Netflix right now. Starring Kevin Costner, Woody Harrelson, Kathy Bates, and many others on the Frank Hammer side of the story of going after the legendary Bonnie and Clyde. Of how it's gotten so bad with the robberies where they're having, the state of Texas is having to go to... Frank Hammer for help because of his legendary work of going after criminals and he is hesitant to go at first and then finally after seeing things in the papers and everything of that nature he decides to go ahead and say you know what I'm going to go ahead I'm going to do it and he starts trying to see who's still around from his old gang that he rode around with when they were still Texas Rangers and he gathers um, Willie Harrelson's uh, part that he plays as another former Texas Ranger who is living with his daughter and his grandson trying to help them, you know, get on their feet. And he has his own issues. And what's really crazy is between Frank Hammer and also um, Willie Harrelson, they have a very good chem chemistry in here. Um, they really rely on one another because Frank Hammer, he gets so like not ups like to a certain point, almost obsessed to catch her body and Clyde. And what's really crazy is Galt, you know, the care, the, uh, the historical figure that, um, w Woody Harrelson plays. He had some great moments in here cause he was very much of a smart ass in here. Um, same thing with Frank Hammer. Um, to the point of them kind of relearning on how to go after criminals and learning about wiretaps, learning about uh, Bonnie and Clyde's uh, habits as well as also what they were doing. And it actually got to see a little bit more of Hammer in this one, actually trying to chase down Bonnie and Clyde a couple times and actually getting closer, how he was always on their heels, how he was always like trying, always that one step behind. and. I think again this was a very good depiction of the other side of the story to kind of put so and so much together so I will say again there were moments in here again if you like the other version of the 2013 I think that some of this again is based on obviously real life events others uh, obviously make the movie a little bit more enjoyable for viewers I, I enjoyed this movie um, I enjoyed the the depiction of uh, these historical figures. It was, again, just a tad bit different, but everything leaned up to the same thing. And also what happened in, you know, history. I will say this, if you're a fan of Bonnie and Clyde, if you're a fan of um, that kind of history in that time period, definitely give this movie a shot. It's over a couple, two hours long. And it's a very good depiction of what was going on during that time frame with Bonnie and Clyde because they, again they were celebrities they were always Robin and things of that nature and it really showed more in this version of how people I would say almost worship them to the point where they would be crowded around their vehicle and in the streets when they would come around and cause issues with the authorities to where they couldn't do anything to be like hey you know we're trying to get to apprehend them and you know citizens didn't want that they wanted Bonnie and Clyde to continue what they were doing and to me I know a lot of people probably have their own opinions on this but the Bonnie and Clyde story has always been a very interesting story to hear and especially what it resonates with me because as I said before in a previous you know my previous video for the Bonnie and Clyde movie review uh I do have relation to them due to the fact that my great grandparents my great great grandparents knew and hid them out and they were friends with them back in the day uh, especially you know with them living in Louisiana and how much time that um Bonnie and Clyde was in Louisiana 
as well as Texas and everything of that nature because I have a lot of family in both states. So I found that piece of history very interesting for my side of the family. And uh, also just the fact of, of just the legend of Bonnie and Clyde and everything that even though, yes, some of the things they did were wrong and, you know, they, they were still somewhat of, of the people um, because of just everything that was going on during that time period of trying to make, you know, ends meet and, um, how the law was and the money trying to handle a job, trying to hold up a house, trying to hold up, you know, raising children during that time period. Everything was very rough like it is now. And, you know, you never know what's going to happen next. But I'll definitely say this. If you guys just want a good little crime thriller drama movie, definitely check this out. But either way, what are your thoughts are about this? Let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you as always on the very next one.